Hey, everybody. Scoop Talk, yes. Dustin Pirac, Hugh Kellmerger. Uh So, ex- basketball season <laughs> is uh, finally here. Dustin. It is. Uh, it started with uh, Indiana winning an exhibition game 89-37 to uh, 37 against Division Three Franklin. Yeah, it wasn't really close. Um, I don't think that's what no. everybody wants to talk about, though. No, let's, let's talk about, with, let's let's talk start about with, Guy Mark. Let's go with Guy first, and then we'll get to the basketball. In yes. Guy Mark Michelle, uh, 45 minutes for tip-off, we were handed a press release. Mm-hmm. Uh, that said that uh, the first line, uh, the NCAA is, is reviewing uh, Guy Mark Michel. It says status. I don't think status. it said amateur status. But it does not say that's status, what it means. but that's what it And reviewing means investigating. Right. It's the same thing. Right. Uh, so, yeah, it's tough to know what to make of this exactly. I mean, there, there's there been a lot of incidents uh, in, involving mm-hmm. this, and it's not, um, I don't know if it's necessary. We, we don't really know what happened. Basically, no, that, that, that's really the big thing. Is, that we know. It, yeah. What it does say in the press release was that he was playing with a club team that was mostly, I guess, other high school kids. Right. And then he was called up for limited participation uh, in games with pros. Right, so, which is typical in yeah. Europe. If you're a player of any mm, skill or ability, or skill, they'll call yeah. you up. Yeah. So, that, I mean, that, that happens a good yeah. bit. Um, you know, you, what you don't know and what we don't have any idea of is if there was any payment whatsoever or how many games he played or any right. of this. I mean, there was no mention of uh, money yeah. involved. And that, that, that's usually where it gets really tricky and pop problematic. And I mean, there was no right. discussion and of it, this. And they didn't seem that un, right. unconfident. That right. And it, it, it's not, a, it can't always, you know, even if he did take payment, it, it mm. not necessarily. That there wasn't him from ever playing again. Doesn't prove from ever playing again. It also doesn't mean that he was trying to circumvent some sort of process, right? Because if his intent was to end his career then, or to mm. continue in Europe and just get paid, well, then who cares? Right. You know they don't. Uh, you know that only matters if you're going to come play in the NCAA. Right. What Guy Mark Michel thought he was going to do when he yeah. was playing those mm. games, we don't know yet. Yeah. No. I mean these. It, it seemed to me over the over the past. I mean, there there have been a bunch of these, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, it seems like they always get worked out somehow, some way. That there's always yeah. some kind of you know established arrangement. Either maybe they pay money back if there is money involved. Again, we have no idea if there's any money involved whatsoever. Right. Uh, sometimes I you know I know of cases if I recall correctly that they suspend you for however many games you played. Yeah. Or Which however long happened. you played. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. with, with these guys who are professionals, and that's usually in a lot of cases. It, when they say limited participation, it probably is limited, you know, participation. We have no idea how many games he might have played, but, you know, sometimes if they played six or seven games, they might get suspended for six or seven games. Right, right. So I, one, one thing that, ta- that, uh, that it says in the statement um, is that they do appreciate that the NCAA has kind of looked at that, this, you know, this way, looking at the specific uh, situation involving each kid and uh, kind of working through it that way and having an understanding that things operate differently in Europe than they do in the United States. Right. It's not exactly like kids getting money behind the back of an AAU gym. Yeah, it's not the same thing. It's different stuff no, over there. It's, so, Yeah, and, and you know, the, I, I touched on this in my call, you know, I wrote about this issue. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I kind of touched on was the idea that this team, maybe more so than any other team Tom Crane has had, is able to handle the loss of somebody like this. Right. Yeah, th- yeah. They, filled, they filled in. Victor Oladipo mm-hmm. started at the four. Who knows who would the starting lineup been? Tom insisted yesterday he didn't know who the starting lineup was at that point. Yeah. And he has known for several days that this was going to happen. Yeah. Um, so who knows, you know, if he had been healthy or el- not healthy eligible, right. who the starting lineup been. But they started Victor Oladipo at the four. It wasn't a bad situation. Well, to- today and, it was. Today, today it wasn't. But you right. could – the non-conference schedule, they, they can – They can get away with a little bit of that, yeah. I mean – I would think that if you had the same five guys on the floor for a non-conference game, you would move back Watford back to the four. Where I don't think he wants to be. I, he seems a lot I don't happier think he, at I don't, the I don't think he wants to be, but if you're going to play a 2-3 zone. Mm-hmm. Well, you can use them like they did. They, they used Oladipo and Watford at the top of the 2-3 zone right. a lot tonight. That, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like If yeah. you're going to play a 2-3 zone, then the defensive deficiencies of having Oladipo guarding the other team's four mm-hmm. is eliminated. So therefore, right. it's a purely offensive thing. Yeah. And if you feel like Oladipo's best game is around the post, and Watford is is improved enough on the perimeter that you feel like it can work. Yeah. Well, you're probably in that case going a more four out one in philosophy anyway. I don't. I don't see yeah. any scenario in which Oladipo is backing people in. No, I don't think he's backing people in. Mm. But he can set a screen and cut to the basket. He can right. work in the fast break. There are different mm. ways in which. You can use his size and like they used it tonight. They did. You saw him set picks and go straight at the basket. Right. 
Yeah. You know, so there are ways in which you can use him. Tom Pritchard, I thought, was really good. Uh, mm-hmm. There were some people in the chat saying that he wasn't very good. I, well, you know what he was? If he was a guy playing with a bandage on his hand. Right, um, right. You know, he, he didn't, he had he seven didn't do rebounds. anything he offensively. Moved, he moved around well. But, I mean, he blew a wide open layup underneath the basket. It was just because he didn't yeah, have control I, right. of it. Um, and, and to his credit, he only took three shots. So yeah, exactly. it wasn't like he was forcing something that wasn't no, there. No, no. And I the mean, shots he, he took wide were shots you had to take. Sure, sure. Um, and it was just literally he had, I guess, that little control over what yeah. he could do with his hand at the time to be able to make a bucket. Right. I mean, he, like, missed it pretty bad. But he, he pulled down seven rebounds. He looked athletic. He's... Moving around a lot Tom, better than right. we, rem- we remember. Tom uh, called guess. him post game the best help side defender we have. Uh, said he's mm. leading the team in charges. He took a charge tonight. Yeah, he did. Um, so yeah, I thought I think some good things from him. Um, I was surprised a little bit by the lack of minutes we saw from Cap Bianco, but a little bit, yeah. Considering the situation, considering they didn't really right. have a true. I, I was surprised otherwise. Corey Barnett got on the court before Cap Bianco did. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of weird substituting and throwing people around and all that and I don't know what yeah. to make of any of that yeah I, yeah, I don't so. know Let, let's talk about um, kind of point guards uh, Jordan Holes versus Daniel Moore well I think we talked about it before uh, da- Daniel's Dan- a little bit of a poacher a little bit, a little bit. I, I give him credit for you like, like I told yeah. you, I, this is exactly how I would play I, 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 think, I think if you have yeah. I, and, and I think Jordan has to be a little bit like this too I think if, to when, some you're, degree. when you're not at the same level as an athlete as mm. maybe other guys you're playing against, you got to find ways to be able to compete. Yeah. And part of that is picking up on their tendencies. Mm. Sure. I, I think what more more is kind of making was was more making the point, more trying to show. I think everybody, um, you know, take him while he could get him in a certain way. I mean, obviously, yeah. this is kind of I don't want to say this is more of his level. He's above the level. Of Division three, he would be a Division three star. I mean, this is well. He got a Division one scholarship offer. I mean, he right, was a obviously. Division one player. Sure. That chose to come to Indiana. Right. Because. But there's Division one. There's there's guys who could play in Division one who are starring in Division three. They're not getting you, a lot of playing time. They're also really dummies, or they're really sometimes there's there, there's different scenarios. The point being, you know, Moore is the type of kid that would dominate at, at that level, and he was he making would. a point to dominate tonight. I mean, he made a point to yeah. You know, steal the ball when he could, score when he could. Um, you know, I think uh, I think Halls is still more uh, obviously established in the position he's he's in. I don't know if he's def- definitively the starting point guard because Crean said he was not going to look at it that way this year. And Verdell Jones was obviously out tonight with an ankle injury, so that allowed know how him much more he minutes. factors into the yeah. Ball but but scenario. he seemed like he was. He, you know, he had ah. been. We we'd seen some sketchiness from him earlier this year. I think he was a lot better tonight. I think he was a lot more solid. Uh, you know, moved the ball around really well, ran the offense really well, shot it, hit a couple, a couple threes, I think at least one. Right. And, um, and he looked more. He looked more like himself tonight. He looked like Jordan, he was rounding back into where right. he was at the end of last year. And, and Jordan is at his best when you don't really notice him. Sure. He is mm. his best when he is making the people around him better. Right. And sometimes that means that you don't really see him actually doing anything, mm. or he doesn't score a lot of points. It's because he made the extra pass to make sure that guy is ha- happy and gets an extra. Shot at the basket, or he does the yeah. little things that you know. So not necessarily we're going to see it in a stat line. True, true. Uh, uh, Maurice Creek looks. He, he's yeah. getting better time to time, but I mean, there's still. Yeah, he, he, you, when you see him the, now, you realize the, they're going to have to have patience with him. The lift, the lift on the jumper isn't quite there yet. No. That's why his outside shots were off. No. But yeah. but, and he made a couple of really smart plays coming off of layups mm-hmm. where he would steal the inbounds or off yeah. the inbounds play, which is something other guys did too. I which I thought right. Says they took a lot, advantage of that a lot. Which said a lot about their preparation because that's mm. a that's a facet of the game and an exhibition mm. that a team like Indiana playing a team like Franklin could easily just forget about. Right. They could easily ignore, just get back yeah. on D and settle in two right. three zone and go, okay, okay, guys, take yeah. threes. And they There's didn't a do that. Which is kind of vicious if you think. It's about kind it. of vicious, <laughs> but it, it, but if you're like, Tom Crean, this is what you want to see. True. true. If you're an Indiana fan, this is when you mm. see is is a team being vicious. Yeah. Bob Knight teams were they kind of vicious. Yeah, yeah, but it's a D three team. Just saying, it doesn't I mean, matter. Uh, but they, you they feel better if it was that. athletes in action. Yeah, it's a higher level player. It's a I mean, higher that, level player. But, like I mean, that's you like, know, you know, I mean, we, 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 we could like tw- go steal inbounds passes off of fifth graders too, and I, mean, I don't know if that makes us look any good. It's I'm not, not, it's I'm, not that's, quite that's, the that same bit, scenario. No, it's not. It, that was that was it's not quite bit, the same scenario. That was taking a little bit too far. Although there are fifth graders who can definitely beat me. All right, we'll see, we'll see uh, what they do on Monday. They play Ferris State. Good D2 That's going to be team. a higher level. Uh, National Player of the mm. Year candidate, post guy they have. Um, so we'll see what happens. Indeed. we got football Next. Saturday, too, so check Football. Out. Oh, yeah, we're still doing that? We are. Let's go. Okay.